the one. Pretty good. It's like rippling. Oh, it's great. Just keep moving again. It's not ground, right? But did we tighten up this uh, these nuts? I don't think we did. Then you go on the same plane. You know, it's in the same basic spot. If you want, you can go like this. Looks pretty good to me. And this is where the give looks like. Maybe was the give on that side? Uh, I think give it on that side. And then just go around here. Great, but it's lower because this is the side the dirt comes in. Yeah. So I'll usually you make this zero. So we make this zero. And then right, you know, instead of going minus, you make it zero so where it's plus, that, that's where you scrape. Yeah. Otherwise you think, oh this is minus, and then you scrape it where it's plus and it makes it worse. But that's how I do that. Like, as long as you don't come off, and then go like this, or just do this, and then another one here, or oh, wait a minute, backwards, like that, you know, with another oiler here. Mm -hmm. And it better than what it is now. You know? so, and then same over here. You know, and what, on a flat like this, I usually like to go a long one like that on both ends. Mm -hmm. And then I would, Or you can even go like this too, you know, make it like a, a, a diamond. Is that 40 now? That looks like and it's good enough. It was 32 last time we counted it. So we yeah. say, but 40. So now it's 55, maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I actually this think is it's closer to 60. Oh, okay. You should be proud of that. You've done really well. Maybe, maybe in here too. Not, mm -hmm. not down too low, up, not too high, but maybe here and here. Okay. You don't want to crack the dog. Because of the clamping, we didn't use all the T-slots. The table has been bent. So the peening with the hammer is a means to relieve the stresses again, so that you, when you, or before you start scraping. Yeah. Well, of course, I have to scrape this and then scrape this first, and then I have to remove and then correct it, the top of the surface again. But I start with this one and then do the other side and the dovetail and then lock the other. Straightening a give. Yeah, straightening a give. The king. You got to figure out how much it is first. Like right now, we know it's high in the middle and it's open. You can, if you want, waste time and, and keep doing this, or you just take an indicator, and come over here, and well, twelve thousand. Twelve thousands. So it's twelve thousands, and then we would come over here. Then we made up this little miniature arbor press, basically. 
And I'm not right in the middle, so I'm going to say I'm going to move it up maybe about eight thousandths and see what happens. Let me just take a little C clamp. And you just kind of get it so there's a little pressure. And that's when you zero this. And then you just tighten a little bit and release it. And we'll check it over here again. See what we got. That helped a lot, actually. It's down to half now. Okay, now I'm going to stop. And Tommy, you take over. You know what to do. When you get close, then we'll let someone else try it, or we'll bend it back. <laughs> you know, if, you, if it is still a little on the ends, you know, when they put it in the machine, it'll, it'll bend some. Yeah, it's a lot better than what it was. It's, wow. Uh,